What's going on everybody? It's your man Adrian here today with Frag Heads and today I'm going to be talking about that title that got you in here. Why your smell is so much more important in attraction than you can possibly think. Now, I'm going to explain my thoughts and perception on this. This is a little bit of deviation from what I normally do, but I want to talk to you about this and I'll talk to you about some other things as well. But today, I'm going to focus on that and give you why your fragrance that you're wearing, that you're on your rock and that we're all loving and we're all smelling, we all think we look good and we all smell good, is way more important in attracting that someone than you can possibly do. Now, let's go ahead and put on that juice that makes you feel loose so you can smell like Zeus and let's get into it. So today, I'm going to explain to you why your smell is very important. So we all got five senses, right? Everybody knows that everybody got five senses. You got sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch, right? Got those five. Everybody got those five. Everybody think we got this sixth sense or whatever it is that cognition, you know, the awareness, stuff like that. We're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about these five definitive things. Now, when we're talking about these five definitive things, there are certain things that you really need to pay attention to in life. When you're engaging with somebody on a one-on-one -on -one basis for the first time, there's a couple of these things that just simply ain't gonna play into it. So we all got five senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. All right, so let's talk about them real quickly. Sight, what you look like, how your outward appearance is, your physical attributes and stuff like that. Let me ask you a quick question. How long does it take you to get in shape? I mean, if you just drop and do 25 push-ups right now, are you gonna come out here looking like The Rock? What do your balls sound like three-year-old girls? I don't know, man. That's just how they talk, but they're wise. Nah, ain't gonna happen. So it takes you a good amount of time. Okay, all right. So your sound, your game, your interpersonal communication skills, how well you communicate with others when you're out here trying to attract or trying to engage with that special someone that you are trying to grab their attention with. How good is your game? How good is your conversation? Can you hold a conversation? Do you get flutter? Do you get wet, moist, palmy hands? Does your heart stop palpitating? Can you find no words? Are you lost in the moment? There's a lot of people that are out there that are like that. I mean, we're not out here kicking it hardcore. So with the communication skills, that's another attribute when you're talking to that special someone. How good is that? And then let me ask you another question. How long, if you have that, how long did it take you personally to develop that skill to have these engaging conversations with that special someone? understand the words that are coming out of your mouth man or are you still struggling did it take you weeks did it take you months has it been years and you still can't approach that person because you're stuck in the moment do you need that liquid courage to build up that confidence to break that barrier to get to them come on i hate doors that's one of those things Everybody's got it, everybody's got that level. So the next one will be touch. This one's funny. Think about this, touch, right? Other than a handshake, other than that, just that brief interaction, maybe a, a slight hug, maybe you kind of know them a little bit. You, you were in that zone where you're like, you're not cool with them, you're not a friend, you're not in their bubble, but they're aware of your presence. So you're able to give them that hug, like that little breakthrough moment. But other than that, just some random person that you met in the moment, when you out here touching people, bro, you're, you're not, you're not out here smacking people in the head. Come on, man. Don't be out here creeping on people. Don't be out here be creepers. Don't be touching people, caressing people in the middle of public. Hey, what's up? No, don't be doing that. What's wrong with you? No, 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 no. You can't be doing that. So now, that's three of them. So taste, you, you already starting to laugh at me, come on. Think about it. 
Are you out here licking people? Like, hey, what's up, man? Ah, we ain't dogs. We out here smelling people's buttholes and licking people's stuff. No, no, no. That's completely eliminated out of the equation. There's, no. <laughs> it's not a, like, it's another factor. Boom. It's out. What's that leave you with? Smell. Well, shit. I can actually control that. Right? So we ain't out here licking people. And we probably ain't out here groping people that we don't know. So that leaves three things, right? So, AKA, your looks, your sound, your game, your interaction, and smell, right? Smell, boom. So, from a math perspective, you only got three variables. So each is 33 and a third percent, because you only got your looks, your sound, and your smell. Guess which one is the easiest one to control? Think about it for a second. Sound game, right? Yeah, you got it, man. Thanks for tuning in. Don't, for, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and then check out some other content. No, man, come on, pay attention. It's smell, hence the title. You smell good, you are good. So look, if you're just average, you're the normal average everyday Joe, you're not up here, you're not down here. So you ain't Brad Pitt on his best day. You ain't Denzel. You're not Tyra Banks. You're not Naomi. You're not anybody that this, the elitist crew, you're not up in that category, but you're, you're okay. You're not scrounging around on the streets. You don't look like a freaking troll that just crawled out from underneath the bridge. No offense, man. If you look like a troll, you do you. You got some great talents and you can keep doing whatever you're doing. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, if you in the midst of that group, you're pretty much good. So you don't need to be the hottest thing that rocks the earth. So you don't need to be Leo from the Wolf of Wall Street with your game, because he's out here closing deals left and right. So your game doesn't need to be at that level. You can just have a regular conversation. Normal, everyday stuff. You're just somewhere in the middle. Guess what? There's only three things. They're 33 and a third percent. And you cut them in half because you're in mid ground. That's 16.6%. Let's say 16 and a half. But guess what? You already got two of them. You're mid ground and mid ground. You back up to that 33%. Well, smell, since it's the easiest one to control, if you hit that one hard and you come out banging with 10, like a good smell and fragrance, guess what? What is 33 and a third percent plus? 33 and a third percent, 66.6 percent. You already beaten the odds. You're crushing it. They already like you before you approach because you smell good. If you look normal, you can have a normal conversation. That smell is carrying you into the next realm. Why do you smell so good? It's because I did laundry. Uh. I smell like a baby in a damn meadow. Now, let's say you don't come out swinging and you're not wearing the tent. You're not wearing that smell that's hitting with them for some reason. You think it's good, but they don't think it's phenomenal. You think it's a 12 out of 10 scale and they think it's good. Guess what? So even if you got a good smell and mind blowing, but hitting a seven piece on a one to 10 scale, that's, yo, where's my math people at? <laughs> Thirty-three and a third percent divided by ten is three point three three. So for every one, you got three point three three. Times that by seven, that gives you twenty-three point three three. Go ahead, stop, do the math if you want to. I don't really care. It's right. Twenty-three point three three, and you added that to your average of the other two because you're just normal. You're just a normal, regular person. You got thirty-three point three plus twenty-three point three. What you got? 56.9. You are still winning. And the smell is the easiest thing to control. You really don't need to do much, man. You take a shower, you come out smelling clean, smell all normal. Let's say you've been out in the day. And let's say that you've been sweating it up because you out here in high heat and it's still the summertime and you got a little bit of, you know, you're not, you're not your peak. You know what? You just came out the shop. It's like six hours, eight hours into the day, that midday. Guess what? 
all you gotta do, bam, grab any one of these, any fragrance out here that you think is smelling pretty good. I got a big selection of stuff there. I have tons of them still over there. All you gotta do is grab one. Ain't even gotta be the most expensive one. Bam, $20. The majority of people will think that this smells pleasantly nice. You're not gonna blow their mind with it. You're not gonna rock the house, but you're gonna smell good. The vast majority of people are gonna tell you that this smells around a seven. This is $20. It's the easiest thing you can possibly control. And this is what I'm in this channel trying to do. I want to teach people about fragrances, why it's important, and what is good for your psyche. Because a fragrance can do a lot for you without even doing that much. And it's super easy. You put a couple squirts on, you ain't even got to carry a big bottle, man. They got travel size. I'm going to go grab a travel size. Look, travel size. Now this is John Paul Gutierrez Ultra Mall. Check it out, right here. Look at this. Come on, man. Pocket. You don't, you don't see it? You ain't got a pocket on you somewhere? It ain't. Look, I'm gonna drop it. It's fine. Pocket fragrance. Toss one of these. Don't keep it in your car. I promise you that. You don't want to keep fragrances in your car. The heat can change them and stuff like that. Just keep it somewhere cool. If you have a bag that goes with you somewhere, that goes somewhere that travels on your person, this is gonna be fine, man. You just pop a couple squirts on, hit your arms, hit your necks and stuff like that. You six, eight hours into the day and stuff like that. Boom, you back over 50%, baby. And these are easy to control. This is an easy thing to do. I really appreciate all y'all for turning into this one. This isn't any of my normal videos. I do a lot of fragrance videos, but I felt like this one was important. I hope this actually hits the right audience and makes the right impression. And if you really do like this content, I'm a very small channel right now. I really, really would appreciate a subscribe and a like. And hell, if you really think this is useful, do me a solid, do me a solid. Share the video, put it out there to a few of your friends, put it on your social media, whatever the case is, I would greatly appreciate that for sure. And I'm gonna keep doing these little fragrances and telling people the notes and why they smell so good, what they can be complimented with, the time of day that you could be using them, the situation that you can be using them in, and all kinds of other good things. Okay, and here's a, here's a little sli snippet for you too. You see this little travel thing? You can pick these up, they're not that expensive. You get a good amount of use and stuff like that. Like I said, this is John Paul Gutierre Ultra Mall. Now, this is a phenomenal smelling fragrance. You can pick this up retail. It's right around $100, sometimes a little bit over. Sometimes you can catch it a little bit under. It, it creeps up there sometimes, about 100, 150 bucks, sometimes, if you don't go to the right places. In one of my very next videos, I'm gonna show you the breakdown of this one, but I'm also gonna give you a phenomenal fragrance on the low ski that you can pick up that smells about 98% similar. And I've literally tested this with multiple people. I put it on this arm, I put it on this arm, and I let it sit, and then I go walk around and I blatantly ask people, hey, can you do me a solid? I'm wearing two different fragrances. One is better than the other. Can you tell me which one is which? And they smell them and they cannot tell the difference. And I'm talking about nose up to here on the skin, and they still couldn't tell the difference. So it's a very, very good clone that you could pick up on the low ski and hit these notes that I've been talking about with you, put you over the average and put you into the good zone like that. I really appreciate you guys. Do me a solid, hook me up, subscribe, like, share, please share. And then let's get this out here and let's make an impact on some people's lives. I'll catch you on the next one.